Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about the accommodation reflex. While performing the cranial nerve examination, uh, we perform the accommodation reflex where we ask the subject to initially look at the distant object and suddenly uh, object is brought very close to the eye like a tip of a pen or the tip of the finger and the subject is asked to focus on the tip of the finger or tip of the uh, object whichever is brought close to the eyes. While uh, focusing on the object um, there are certain changes which occur in the eyes and that is forming the accommodation reflex. One change what you can see here is where the eyeballs have come closer to the nose and or are moved medially which is called as the convergence of the eyes. There are other additional changes which we'll see in the subsequent slides. So coming to the accommodation uh, reflex, um, we have um, or we define accommodation reflex as when sudden shift of gaze from distant to near object, the reflex changes observed in the eye is called as accommodation reflex. So during accommodation, when eyes are focused on uh, initially a distant object and then to the near object to achieve clear vision three changes or three um, reactions occur in the eye and these are the three components of the accommodation reflex which are three c's which is the constriction of the pupil which is uh, increasing the depth of focus and this is caused by contraction of the sphincter pupillae muscle the second C is the convergence of the eyes or convergence of the eyeball where uh, the image uh, forms in the corresponding points on the retina and this occurs by the contraction of the medial recti muscle of the eyeball. The third change is the changes in the curvature of the lens. The curvature of the lens is increased which increases the power of the lens. That is the lens becomes more convex and this occurs by the contraction of the ciliary muscles. Pupillary constriction and the convergence of the eyes, uh, these changes occur to achieve clear vision of the near objects. And the principal change in the lens during accommodation is seen in the anterior surface of the lens. Now coming to the first change which is the constriction of the pupil and how does this occur is the afferent information from the eye that is from the retina uh, reaches the visual cortex or the occipital cortex via the visual pathway and the visual pathway includes the optic nerve, optic chiasma, optic tract, the lateral geniculate body, optic radiation and then reaches the occipital cortex. It also reaches the other eye through the visual pathway to reach the uh, uh, occipital cortex or the visual cortex. From the visual cortex, the fibers relay to the left frontal eye field that is the center of the reflex. Frontal eye field is present in the frontal loop and it is area 8. From the frontal eye field, the corticonuclear fibers pass via the internal capsule to the Edinger Vespal nucleus and uh, this Edinger Vespal nucleus is of the third cranial nerve. From the Edinger Vespal nucleus the efferent impulses travel along the oculomotor nerve that is the third cranial nerve and the relay in the ciliary ganglion. Now these are the preganglionic fibers which pass through the cranial nerve that is the third cranial nerve to reach the ciliary ganglion. The postganglionic fibers from the ciliary ganglion pass via the short ciliary nerves and supply the sphincter pupillae muscle and uh, cause the contraction of the sphincter pupillae muscles. The same events occur on the right side or in the right eye simultaneously and there is contraction of the sphincter pupillae muscle in both the eyes which will cause the constriction of the pupil in both the eyes. So this is how constriction of pupil occurs during the accommodation reflex. The second change which we see is the increase in the curvature of the lens. This again starts from the eye, that is the afferent impulses extend through the visual pathway from the retina to the um, visual cortex and on both the sides. 
from the visual cortex to frontal eye field and then the impulses are relayed to the edinger westphal nucleus from the edinger westphal nucleus the efferent impulses travel along the third cranial nerve that is the preganglionic fibers reach the ciliary ganglion and the postganglionic fibers from the ciliary ganglion pass via the short ciliary nerves and supply the now they supply the ciliary muscle which causes its contraction the same changes are observed in the other eye simultaneously and in both the eyes the ciliary muscle contraction occurs and this will increase the curvature of the uh, lens that is the increase in the anterior curvature of the lens the third change what we see is the convergence of the eyes or the convergence of the eyeballs the impulses reach the occipital cortex and reach the frontal eye field like mentioned previously and from the frontal eye field the corticonuclear fibers project to the main motor nuclei of the third cranial nerve they are now projecting to the main motor nucleus of the oculomotor nerve through the oculomotor nerve it supplies the uh, muscle which is the medial rectus muscle of the eyeball and uh, the same changes are seen in the opposite eye simultaneously and there is contraction of the medial rectus and this will cause the um, eyeballs to move medially and causing the convergence of the eyes or convergence of the eyeball that is both the eyeballs come close to the nose on both the sides so this is about uh, the convergence of the eyeball now the next slide shows the entire sequence of events in a nutshell for the pathway of accommodation reflex remember the cranial nerves involved are two cranial nerves that is the cranial nerve uh, here in the visual pathway involved is the optic nerve and here the cranial nerve involved is the oculomotor nerve so there is involvement of optic nerve and the third cranial nerve in accommodation reflex there are three muscles involved uh, in the accommodation reflex which are sphincter pupillae the ciliary muscle and the medial rectus Uh, the um, ciliary muscle and sphincter pupillae are the smooth muscles and medial rectus is the skeletal muscle and the three changes which occur in the accommodation reflex are the three c's that is constriction of the pupil increase in the anterior curvature of the lens and convergence of the eyes which is seen in both the eyes so thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel simple concepts in medical physiology for more videos